Tom Thurston, I did a rod musher and his family. Let's see, why doesn't everybody introduce themselves? Leona. Leona, and who is this white one? This is Halo. Halo, and? I'm Tom. Alrighty. I'm Greta, and okay. this is Whitetail and Madison. Wonderful. Well, Tom, this video is for my godson, Luca Mezzanotti. And he is in Miss, Mr. D's class at the Carlisle School in Massachusetts. I understand you're from Massachusetts? I am. I'm from a town called Northeast, and that's near Sharon and Mansfield and Stoughton. Well, that's really cool. And now you're out here in Oak Creek, Colorado. What brought you here? Ah, uh, the mountains. The mountains. All righty. And are these your sled dogs right here? These are um, some of them. Halo's um, an older retired dog. Um, Whitetail, he got injured as a puppy and he's never been able to really be a sled dog. And then Madison's one of our tour dogs. We have a tour business that um, we are able to take folks out and allow them to um, experience dog sledding. Oh wow, that's terrific. And are you uh, excited about being in the Iditarod coming up here in a few weeks? Absolutely. Is this your first Iditarod? No, this will be my fourth Iditarod. Wonderful. And is it hard? Yeah. <laughs> How hard? Uh, it's brutal. The toughest part about it is the sleep deprivation. Um, you know, the weather, the dealing with the wind and the cold and all that. You kind of expect it. I enjoy winter camping. I don't enjoy 50 below and 60 mile an hour winds. However, sometimes that's what we see out there. But for the big picture, while just backcountry travel in the winter time is really what got me into the sport and um, having the dogs you know, is just a great part of it because they want to do it and they're your means of transportation. That's awesome. Now, is it as hard on the dogs as it is on you? No, it's actually a lot easier on the dogs than it is on the human. This is what they were bred to do for, you know, thousands of years. Um, these dogs have an inherent desire to travel that they can't, it's irresistible. They have to keep moving. That's just how they are. You put them on a um, six foot chain in the dog yard and give them a house and they just sit there and run circles all day. You know, you hook them up to a dog team and they just pull. Now granted, not every dog is capable of running a thousand miles, so you have to, you know, breed accordingly and um, pick specific dogs. You can't ask a dog to do more than it's capable of, so it has to be the right kind of dog. Even among Alaskan Huskies, they're not, not all capable of doing it, so it takes a while to build a kennel um, and to build an Iditarod team. Well, that's fantastic. Just very quickly, are all of your dogs Alaskan Huskies? Yeah, which is a mutt. They're not a pure breed. However, it's a very specific line. All of my dogs go back to about four or five dogs um, that were are alive in the 60s and 70s. Um, and they mm -hmm. were all um, from a, a famous musher named George Atler and Gareth Wright. Um, it's, a, it's a line that has been brought forward from then. How's it going, Luca? And how's everybody in Mr. D's class? We're doing great and we're going to have some fun out there on the trail and uh, appreciate y'all following me. Thanks so much, Tom. In lights, he just wants to be heard, whether it's the beat of the mic. You ready? Let's go.